I'm Ray D. Magden, and welcome to the Lesbian Reviews for Love and Money, a podcast about selling the most sapphic books that you can. Today, um, I'm joined by Lee Fitzsimmons, the owner of Desert Palm Press Publishing Company. She is my publisher, which I'm absolutely honored to work with her, and she has published so many amazing stories that I can't even begin to count them all. Lee, thank you so much for being on the podcast with me as my very first guest. I'm very happy to be here, Ray. Wonderful. Okay, can you talk a little bit about Desert Palm Press and your role as a publisher? How'd you get started? Well, in the early days, I'm talking about 2008, 2010, I was a beta reader on Athenium, and I also started working with a number of authors as an editor. About 2014, several of those authors had... um, submitted their books to to the more traditional lesbian presses and either had been turned down or they didn't like the contract. And so we decided to start a publishing house. And um, I'm not sure if I knew then what I know now if I would have done that. <laughs> but so in 2014, we started Desert Palm Press. Now... I have, what, um, 20 authors, and we've published over 45 books since 2014. That's awesome. Yes. In fact, I was just publishing our next one today. Which one is that? That's uh, the fifth in the um, Scarred series by um, S.L. Cassidy called Learning to Walk Again. This book finishes that series. And I'm happy to announce that next month she starts a, a series of uh, fantasy um, called The Warrior Class Skycutter. So. Skycutter, I like that title. Yeah, so um, as the publisher, you're the one who sees our hard-earned sales numbers first. In your opinion, what do the authors who sell big have in common? Those authors are doing a lot to, as we say in the trades, pimp their books. <laughs> They are active on Facebook, not only on their own page, but also they are part of um, the voices that are asking questions and and being there, not just to sell their books, because that gets really tedious, but also to become part of the voices that make up our lesbian culture, the multifaceted of that culture, uh, such as on um, the Lesbian Book Readers Club or Lesbian Writers Readers. They also often have their own website, and um, they keep it up to date, and they uh, touch out to their readers in blogs and, and much like we're doing here today, podcasts and that sort of thing. They connect with their um, local bookstores and book clubs to to not only do readings, but to, to, to get people reading their book. And they also uh, are touting other authors, especially within our publishing house, so that people are reading not only their book, but by other books within our publishing house. Okay, so authors who want to sell well really need to be part of a community, not just making a social media page and posting about their own work, but sharing other authors' works and connecting with them to get the favor returned when it's their turn to release? Yes, exactly. Okay, that's great advice. Um, And what do you as a publisher do to help promote your author's books? What, in your experience, are the most effective methods from your side of the business? Sometimes I think I'm doing what I'm doing in a vacuum, and then other times it just mushrooms, and I don't know. I make sure that, um, of course, we have a Desert Palm Press Facebook page. Uh, please, hopefully your listeners will go and like that page. I post not only things that are... Um, pertinent to our times, but also I, I post um, our authors publishing and, and if they get a really good review and that sort of thing. But you'll also find interesting things um, concerning articles from Signature or, or Literary Hub 
um, that talk about the world of words in many different ways. So we do Facebook. I do Facebook. I do, I learned to Twitter. <laughs> you learned to tweet? Yeah. That you learned too. to Twitter. Because <laughs> my, one of the things I tell the authors as they come on board, especially if they're debut authors, and you'll notice that when you go to our webpage and look at books, a lot of our authors, we publish a lot of debut authors. And, and one of the things that I, I, I tell them is you don't need to spread yourself across the whole social media. You'll burn out if you do that. I encourage Facebook. I think it's the devil we live with. But also, I encourage them to pick one or two other social media avenues to, to be really excel at. And, and to not just focus on, on read my book, read my book, read my book, but to become part of that whole community. Okay, yeah, that's been my experience too as an author. You have to post more content than just read my book because oh, that yeah. gets old after a while. And then when you have a book, people will be excited to check your page. So That's really true. I also, there's a, you know, a couple of old fanfic avenues that were really um, – still connected to uh i do a press release every time we have a book going to uh the royal academy of bards they have done so much to enhance uh, um lesbian writing uh many many authors started in that i i know that you the first time i read your work it was on athenium it was <laughs> you yes. were my beta reader <laughs> yes and so so you know we have to give homage to, to, to those sites. They do their stuff for free, and I cannot, I cannot give them enough credit for how well they have kept lesbian voices alive. That's, that's amazing. We'll definitely have to add those links in the show notes, too, because I remember Academy of Bards and the Athenium a lot, with, very fondly, so we'll add those links in the show notes. Unfortunately, Athenium... Um, it's more of an archival site now. The women who were running it ran into health issues and they tried to bring it back and I think their health issues got in the way again. So, but a lot of good stories are still there. They, did, they just are not updating the site anymore. Okay, so what advice do you have for authors searching for new ways to get the word out about their book? I know you talked about creating a social media presence and posting about other people instead of just yourself what what other advice do you have especially if you want to you want to shell out some of the paperback or physical copies of your books how would you go about doing that well excitingly this year desert prom press was a vendor at Clexicon. yay yes and that was an amazing experience there were like three thousand people there and we practically sold out of our sci-fi um of course you ray were there too helping alongside and that having attending those kind of things and becoming a presence is is uh, one way to do it and also like in july the golden crown literary society will be in las vegas this year and um attending those kind of events where you are touching base with other authors and potential readers if they're not readers already i think is very valuable becoming a face in october um uh, Sapphire Books uh, does a wonderful conference in Palm Springs. I think it's the October 2nd through 9th this year. Uh, it's a more intimate affair if you have been to GCLS in the past. But uh, Desert Palm Press co-sponsors that. And, and it's a really great way to, in a, in a really mellow setting, touch base with how other authors are doing their craft and selling their craft as well as touching base with the readers and what they want to see in their your books. Yeah, I've been to all the all those conventions and my experiences have been really great. I've sold a lot of books, met a lot of awesome people. I think it really helps for branding and 
name recognition to go to those conventions. So that's great advice. And I have one last question for you before I let you go. Um, which online distributors do you use to sell ebooks, and what do you like and dislike about your different options? <laughs> I know well, you have a lot to say on this subject, don't you? <laughs> well, I do, and I don't. You know what's okay for a podcast and what I would say in private are sometimes uh, different. It's okay. Um, you can tell me that you don't like some of what Amazon does. It's okay. None of us do. <laughs> okay, I don't like some. We we you could. We are an international company. We're global in that we use Amazon, of course, and that network. But they are really nice to authors and definitely not to publishing houses. But it does give an avenue that so many people have access to. Um, and But we also use a small... Uh, not so small, a uh, distributor called uh, Smashwords. Um, I live in California, and they're not that far from me, actually. Their offices are in Los Gatos, and they're basically ebook. They do have a link that you can buy the paperback, but it, 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 the link actually sends you to Amazon these days because that's the where our paperbacks are located. Um, it used to be that you could actually buy from Create Space, who, who does our publishing on demand paperbacks, but they closed their catalog and and they they are owned by Amazon, so it's basically a direct link into Amazon. And then we use Bella uh, Books. Uh, they're not only a publishing house, but they also serve as a distributor, and you can buy our books through Bella Books. Um, we're hoping within the next few months to also being able to, for you to get your eBooks through our website at desertpompress.com. Yeah. And I just want to throw in a word. If you're buying sapphic fiction and you go directly to the publishing house's website and they do have eBooks for sale, I mean, the authors in the publishing houses get a much bigger cut if you buy directly from them and don't go through Amazon. Amazon is great for getting your work out to the widest possible audience it's a really wide net and it's easy for people to go there and find your work but if you buy from the publishing house more of your money is going to support the author and publishing house and you know if you can it's always great to do it that way but if you do buy on amazon you got to leave a review that's the bargain if you're going to bargain <laughs> with the devil make it worth our while right or or you know we get a much better royalty return at smashwords and uh, I, I have to give them kudos. It isn't just a Kindle book. You can get it in your EPUB or, or Sony reader. They, they have like four or five different e-readers that, that you can download from. So my, I always have to give a big shout out to Smashwords and how well that they have um, built their network. It's through Smashwords that you find us uh, in the third party retailers like iTunes and uh, Kobo Catalog and Barnes and Noble. If you have bought the book there, you can leave a review there. We also encourage not only Amazon, but also people leaving a reviews on at Goodreads. Yeah, I'm going to do a whole podcast about Goodreads eventually. So that'll be, that's on my list to do a podcast on along with Patreon. Okay, so thank you so, so much for being on the podcast. Lee is my very first guest. It's my honor to work with you and you have so much knowledge and you're so fun to talk to. So this was, this was really my pleasure. Well, well, thank you, Ray. I'd like to just make one more comment is that- Please do, please do. We, we are, we are- Desert Palm Press is slowly moving into audiobooks too. So, um, as we, by the end of the year, I imagine that you will would be able to get most of our books in uh, ebook, uh, paperback, and audio. Yes, I'm so excited for some of my books to be audiobooks, but we will yes. definitely, definitely be awaiting the release of Desert Palm Press audiobooks with much anticipation and joy. It's been a pleasure, Ray. Thank you so much for having me on this morning. Thank you. Once again, my name is Ray D. Magden, and today we talked with Lee Fitzsimmons, the owner and operator of Desert Palm Press. 
So um, if you want to go check out Desert Palm Press, there will be links in the show notes. Go look at some books. Buy from Smashwords. Leave a review. Um, If you enjoyed this podcast, then please come and talk to us on the Lesbian Talk Show chat group on Facebook or email us at the podcast at thelesbiantalkshow.com or follow us on Twitter at The Lesbian Talk Show. You can also join our community of patrons and get exclusive content. Go to patreon.com slash the lesbian talk show and the link is in the show notes. Thank you and have a great week. I'll see you in two weeks where we'll be interviewing Cal Foylon, editor extraordinaire, about how to make your book the best it can be and attract the most possible readers in the first few pages.